right, good morning. We got up, had breakfast. We decided to leave camp here. Um, we're gonna hike up to Ross Lake, go fish, fish the uh, inlet and outlet. And uh, then we'll just come back here and stay. We think we took totally the wrong way getting here. So we're gonna be suckers and go back the same way we came because that was so much fun. And uh, anyway, Go. All right, we made it to Ross Lake. Wind is blowing stupid fast. Um, I don't know if we can paddle in this kind of wind. All you can do is check the weather for Dubois. And it was saying like five mile an hour winds. This is not five mile an hour winds. So. We might do a little shore fishing and then head back. So I threw my spinner across this little bay here a dozen times. Chad tried to throw a fly out there, but the wind's blowing so hard you can't even throw one. Um, the outlet of this lake is just to our south here, to our left. So we're gonna hike back, drop back down, come up another bay and try to hit it because that's where the fish will be feeding. Hopefully the wind would die down. I'd love to get out on this lake. It's like five, six miles long. Some glaciers. There's like every little crevice on the other side. You won't be able to see it with the camera or whatever, but there's little waterfalls coming down. Like this is just a spectacular place to be. Unless the wind's blowing. Hopefully Shad can hold this thing up and show you proof that we're actually catching some fish. I haven't caught a, anything or even had a, I haven't had a bite or anything, but there's the Shadster. He's got himself a nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Some will see it from here. Uh, but he got out in the water and I just, I'm not there yet. And he's using a fly. I'm using a Jake lure. And he has caught two already and I've caught nothing. So paddling. Pulling a lure is the way to go, and shore fishing flies the way to go. Well, we decided the wind died down a little bit. It's still not down, but um, I put, pumped my boat up while Shad was catching like dozens of fish. And uh, I've made it quite a ways up, so I told him to get his boat pumped up. We're going to go up to the inlet and check the creek out up there. It's a little windy. Probably uh, not going to fish on the way up. I might fish on the way down because you know, if you stop to catch a fish here, your current's going to take you backwards a long ways. So we're probably just going to make a run for it. And we'll see what's up at the top.
so we made it to the island on Ross Lake. And I mean, just a gorgeous waterfall. Waterfall coming down the side over there. That is a glacier. I'll get the name of it if it has a name. Not all of them up here have them. There's like more glaciers in the Wind Rivers than there are in Glacier National Park. But uh, we've always wanted to come, I've always wanted to come be on an island in the middle of a lake here. I thought it'd be cool to camp here because at least I'd sleep well at night. There will be no grizzly bears come and get you. None of them are that crazy. Man, there are some deep, deep sides here too on this island. We might get our fly rods out for a minute. Anyway, enjoy the view. Okay, so we made it to the inlet on regular upper, lower, this is lower, lower Ross Lake. Better view of this glacier, and I did look it up on the map. It is glacier, has no name. Not a lot left of it, but it is what it is. We're going to go see if we can catch some big fish. Shad keeps promising me big fish. He says every time he comes here, there's like two foot fish in the outlet. So we're going to go. We're going to go see if we can catch one. All right. Shad didn't lie. He found me a big fish. It took three holes to find him. You just point it and it'll take anywhere. Whether we can get him in or not is going to be a whole other story. That's a lot of fish for my little pole. Ugh. Red means it's recording. Okay, chill. Yowza, awesomeness. And away he goes. So a few years ago, Chad uh, got his lure hung up in a tree here, a fly hung up in a tree here, and he climbed it and slid, the branch broke, and he slid down and broke his ankle. So he sat right down here in a little grove of trees in the shade for almost 24 hours. Um, they came and they picked him up in a basket and then flew him to where they could set him down and then put, loaded him in the helicopter. His dad rode out. This happened at night. He rode out at night, reported it, rode back in, and then rode back out. All in like a 24-hour period, and it's quite a huck in here. So it's kind of an impressive little story. And look at him back. All right, just to say we did... I mean, our original plan was to paddle up here and spend our first night here and then paddle up the end of this lake. And I think I said they were five or six miles long earlier. They're like two or three miles long. I actually looked on my map. Yeah, we were going to paddle up this and then head over to Bomber and down and I'm just tired of bushwhacking, so we decided not to. But we still got to make it back to our camp, which is a couple miles away. Um, but we got to go see. There's got to be some fish here at the inlet. Outlet. I guess this is the outlet now.
Anyway, big country up here. For sure. All right. I have a my Yellowstone video that I haven't put out yet, so I haven't got an answer from it yet, but I asked on it if anybody knew what kind of plant this was. I've been told like bush cranberry, uh, mountain cranberry, stuff like that, but I got a really crappy picture of it before. This is a much better picture with the berries on it. They're good. They taste good. I've never died eating them, and I've eaten a lot of them. Anyway, if you know what kind of berries those are, please let me know. Not huge, but pretty. Alright dude, chill out. Man, they're fat little suckers. Holy crap. Just like that, away he goes. That's got him a fish on. Yeah, just do keep him away from your boat. And be careful when you pull him off.
Bak. Nice camera work, eh? Just like that. Just like that. I gotta redo my seat. It just went. This is a good one. I gotta tighten my drag up. That or he's just caught, bunny. long to prosper little fish okay this will be our last shot of Ross Lake we are bailing out going back to camp We are left camp this morning. Where'd it go? We are just making our way out. We're on the other side of the creek, of Torrey Creek that we came up. And so far it's been way easier. There's a game trail, but that was bear poop. We knew we were in bear country and we hung our food and took care of things correctly, but it's always a little disheartening when you come across a big pile of bear poop. 
that close to your camp. Um, we're looking at the river. It's big and wide right here, and it goes down for quite a ways. And we thought about putting our boats in it, but we also know it's going to end in some waterfalls and rapids. So not knowing where any of that is, we opted against it. Anyway, way we got packed up at, we were up by 6.30 and on the trail before eight. And we're hoping by what we learned um, coming up that it'll help us get home in a much easier fashion than we came up because that was horrible. Oh, so, uh, we're not sure if we're gonna cliff out here at the creek, but there's a rock up here that we could cross to get to the center section, and then we could cross this boulder right here and we'd be back on the other side where we know where we're at. Because <clears throat> we're not very far from the lake, and so far this side is a thousand times better than the other route. But if we cliff out right here, we're in trouble. Because while those rocks are doable, they don't look very fun. But if this will drop down and end up in some trees, it'd be just right. It's almost like there's a game trail here, which gives me hope. Hope is important when you're doing dumb things like this. I keep threatening to make Shad leave at lead everywhere we go because all I do is clean up all the spider webs. Okay, so the lake is actually to our left. We followed a proper game trail that people are using because there's actually Cairns out every now and then to mark it. But I don't think people are doing this regular. But I can look ahead and see like flat spots where people have walked and there's actually a trail on this side. Thousand times easier than the other side. We, since we had boats, decided that we were gonna go basically on the other side of the inlet from where we took out. We'd put in on the other side of it because that's the side that the creek we're on. But man, we can walk down this bouldery sidewalk and come out a tenth of a mile into the lake and not have to bushwhack trees all day long. Sidewalk might be an overstatement, but you know what I mean. And if it gets to where, like up here, it looks like it closes up, we'll just cut over to the lake and paddle on. So if you are dumb enough to do something like this, this is Hidden Lake. Come up the north side of Hidden Lake, not the south side. Seven pound brook trout on the south side. You heard it straight from Shad. I think this is where we make our run for the lake.
So there's my little pump. I think I'll blow this thing up in just a couple of minutes. I thought while we were waiting, we'd show you. We did have like, what, 50 feet of just crap crossing like we did for two miles on the other side. Um, we are at the lake. We're going to throw in right here. Um, that little pump will do, I think I said it before, but six. I think it'll run six inflations on these big boats. Um, and I charged it once in between because we're at about more than our six. But we blow up our seats and our backrests by just by mouth, and then uh, and then we're gonna get on the lake. All right. We patched a big old hole on Chad's one of his seams yesterday. When I patched my seat, we'll see whether it holds or not. So far so good, but it was taking just a minute or two to go down. We are going to have us head in here. It's not bad, but just enough. blowing us the right way. of bubbles while we go but that isn't from us <laughs> we got to make sure we don't hit the outlet it would be very detrimental because there's a big waterfall right there
seat held. Yes. Okay, so you just rock and step out, right? Lean on the rock and you just step out. Getting better. just stopped. There's a little fire ring here, but there's not really a tent spot. On the other side of all these rivers or whatever they are, creeks, there's a pretty nice tent spot. There's two tents set up there when we went by. But we stopped and made water, which we were in desperate need of. Eight, which I was in desperate need of. I didn't realize how bad I was, but now we just gotta find our way out of here. I think we're gonna have to cross this log right here. If there weren't so many log jams in this, this area here, oh man, a lot of elk have been hanging here. If there weren't so many log jams, we'd just put our rafts in and go but we'd be constantly taking them out. And tipping over and doing whatever else. Oh yeah. If that was wider, I'd get in it, but it isn't. Oh. Yeah, cause the creek here just goes right up against that rock face and right on through and out to the lake. All right, Shad, go around the pine, through the willows and over to here. And then I'm just guessing this is just gonna be a slog of wet. To where we're going, I'm about ready. Thinking we ought to just put our water shoes on and just go. Ugh. There's all sorts of elk trails, but elk don't care if they get their feet wet. Goodness gracious. All right. I'll see you guys at the lake. This is ridiculous.
Oh, I already forgot. We're taking out on this little ramp over here, the little grassy ramp. I already forgot where we're getting out at. Yeah. Isn't that it? Yeah, right down at the bottom of it, huh? Yeah, that little grassy ramp with the trees on it. <laughs> there looks like a sandy beach over here. That breeze between the, the little narrows there, that was awesome. I was getting some good speed there. There's a cool little campsite right in there, fire pit, at least one good tent site. And a beautiful view. The only way to get there would be in a raft. Lake Louise. Okay, there is the last view of Lake Louise. Did you make it? To jump? Yeah. Somebody could. I couldn't. Off, I'd have a heart attack before I got over the edge. But it's deep there. On the way up here, we could see fish. Um, but we paddled that. And we paddled up above it, and we paddled up above it. And I was kind of mad the first day. It was not at all what it was supposed to be, but it was worth it. It always is. <sighs> Till the next time.